welcome to another edition of A Priest Abroad. Something slightly different today. I am, um, well, I'm sat by some still water and I'm going to attempt to catch a trout. I haven't done trout fishing in I don't know how many years, partly because when I moved to my village and left the Dales, I only had a small vehicle and I had to make a number of trips. And while I was away making a number of trips, my outbuilding, my little barn at the back of my cottage in the Dales was broken into. And as such, I lost all my trout equipment. Most of it, I think they left a few flies. I've still got my salmon fishing kit, but all the trout tackle went. And so I'm starting again many years later now. I've been involved in all sorts of other things, but I thought I ought to take up fly fishing once again. I've got modest kit, all bought from an online auction, relatively cheaply, all second hand, most of it hardy, hardy of Annick, Alnwick, pronounced I believe Annick, because I like quality kit and I don't mind it being slightly old, so I haven't paid a vast amount of money. What I'm sporting at the moment, and I hope you'll be able to see, is a hardy rod, nine foot long, uh, to take a weight six line. And what I've done is I've matched that with buying another hardy reel. Now this is the reel, it's a Marquis, Marquis. And my salmon reels are Marquis also. But of course I don't need anything that large so I've had to start again and again this was rather good value because I got the reel and two spare spools on which I put cheap line. I don't spend a lot on line. You can spend as much on line as you can on a reel. Uh, anyway there we go. So here is the uh, reel Marquis and this is for a, a seven uh, but I suspect the fact I've put six line on it won't make much difference. I couldn't find a six that was this cheap, but this is in good nick and so are the spare reels. Or I should say spools, really. And what you'll notice, I've just pricked myself with a fly. What you will notice is that on this wonderful reel, it's got four rivets. And basically the four rivets uh, shows that it's an old one and a good one, and a traditional one. I think they've been outsourced now to places like China, and I think there's only a couple of rivets on the modern one. So I'm chuffed to have this. And it all seems to feel, feel fairly balanced in the hand, so it's very good. And there we have it. So I'm now going to put my sinking tip line on. I've got two lines I'm going to use today. One is a sinking tip, because nothing seems to be rising very much. It's bloody cold, freezing actually. It's been snowing today. Uh, it's been bright but cold, and so I'm expecting nothing on the surface. But later on, towards dusk, I shall put a, a floating line uh, and try and catch some rising trout. So I shall see you shortly. Uh, pray for me that I catch a fish. Uh, it would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, and we are fishers of men. I'm not sure about fishers of trout, though. See you in a bit.
And so I've caught my first fish of the season and first trout in many years. Uh, and here's a look at him. Beautiful looking fish. Nice rainbow. So I'm very pleased with that. And I shall now put him back. Well, there we go. I have finished my fishing. I'm sat in my car now. I am about to wend my way home. I got two fishies, two little fishies, and I'm very pleased because I got one on the sinking tip and I got one on the, what was the other one? The dry, that dry. Um, both uh, weight six lines. Uh, haven't got a clue what I put on the end. Um, I just put on whatever I thought might work. I don't quite know all the names of the flies. I'm not an expert fisherman. I just do this for a little bit of relaxation. I'm not obsessed with it, but I do like learning about the flies. Um, I don't think they were any of the sort of flies or lures one would normally use on this water. They certainly don't look like anything that was being sold in the shop. But the problem was I forgot to bring my wallet with money in it. Fortunately, I had 10 pounds, which paid for my fishing uh, but didn't leave any money over f to buy any flies from the local shop here where there were clearly um, flies that one could use uh, on this water. The ones I did use were barbless and I put the two little fishies back in the water like a good chap and uh, I'm really quite thrilled really. <laughs> I very rarely fish but um, to catch two on my first time out in many years was for trout that is, um, I'm more than happy. So I'm sorry that you didn't really see very much, but it's very difficult to negotiate fishing and um, playing a fish whilst holding my GoPro, which is what I attempted to do. But uh, it's only a short video, um, just to mix things up a bit from my wild swimming and my uh, mountaineering and wild camping and all the other ridiculous things that I like to get up to. But uh, it was enjoyable having you along for this short trip, and I hope to see you on the next video.